Good morning, students. Welcome to this session. As we know that in the previous period, we are discussing the poem, the first poem that is a 10th standard English subject. The first poem to a pair of uh, Saurus Cranes, written by Manmohan Singh. In the last uh, period, we have discussed about the note about the a poet and also the first uh, a poem that is uh, stanza the first stanza of the poem in detail let uh, let me uh, once again uh, uh, read the uh, stanzas of the poem and later we will discuss the uh, uh, stanza wise uh, explanation okay uh, listen carefully students and also write down the uh, poem stanza wise uh, written in the previous period the first stanza have written and uh, today in this session we are going to discuss second stanza and third stanza so while explaining you have to uh, write down that in the notebook and similarly you have to take the meanings of the words which will be very helpful in understanding the lines of the poem ok so we will read the stanzas from the beginning a poem one to a pair of sorrows cranes written by Manmohan Singh the first stanza the male was shot as he necked to pull the reluctant sun out from the rim of horizon this first stanza we discussed in the previous uh, period and once again I would like to give the summary of this uh, first stanza that it was the bird's feeling that the sun was reluctant to rise. The poet says that the sun was unwilling to rise. The poet says that the sun was un unwilling to rise and the male saw a screen stretched its neck to pull it out of the horizon. So that we discussed in the last period. Let us move on to the second stanza. I have written here the second stanza. She flew crying as he was picked up and sent her jaws. And a proud neck was humbled to lie like a dirty linen in a coarse washing bag. As third stanza, she circled the sky in movements of uh, grace over is a disgraceful end the killers went away and she returned to death's scene let's stop here we we'll discuss this uh, line by line afterwards we will move on to the next lines ok she flew crying as she was picked up and some jaws so, when the male bird flew from its nest when the sun was reluctant to rise, she with enthusiasm, with happy, she fly, crying. And here crying means when the bird killers shot at the flying bird when it is coming out of its nest, it was shot. And with the, that shot of the killers, the bird with the pain, the bird, the male saw a strain with pain, crying, and also fly. And because of this uh, a shoot, the bird fell down, fell down with the painful, with the grief, with the uh, so much of a hurt that was hurt by this uh, arrow or the shot of the bird killers that is hunters so she flew crying as she was picked up hands and jaws here not down the phrase picked up hands and jaws means here picked up hands and jaws says that the callousness of the bird killers See here, pick it up, hands and jaws. Take down the meaning. Pick it up, hands and jaws. 
here refers to the callousness of the hunter callousness means the cruel hearted the killer doesn't have any mercy on the bird without mercy with a uh, what do you call a cruel nature minded that is the, the callousness of the hunter shown that he was creature of hands and the jaws without any mercy on that bird they killed by shooting and that bird fell down and after that bird which was flying a proud neck it is a referred as a proud neck a proud neck means the bird which is very happy in flying and that proud neck was humbled here humbled means the meaning here lowered the dignity humbled means lowered the dignity as it was flying it seems to be very proud but when it was shot and falling down it is referred as a it was humbled that is the dignity of that bird will be lowered lowered and that uh, after falling that of the bird like a dirty lion in a coarse washing bag after the death the bird when fall on to the ground these bird killers without showing any mercy concern regarding the life of that uh, male bird they taken it in a washing bag so here that washing bag referred as a coarse washing bag so coarse washing washing bag means here coarse means a rough coarse means a rough which usually the bird killers hunters used to collect the uh, birds which are uh, killed by themselves and as usual we know that these hunters doesn't have any concern and uh, grief and mercy on the birds so they just only picked up that uh, bird dead bird in a rough washing bag so this second stanza tells us that without any mercy the shooters the hunter shot at the bird which was flying after that shot the bird with pain crying fall down and it died so after the death of the bird the callousness nature of the bird killers very cruel natured hunters picked that bird which was a uh, feeling very proud himself in flying lowered lowered and it was uh, collected in a dirty washing bag okay i think you will understood the uh, uh, meaning of this uh, lies of the second stanza so going on to the third stanza of the poem so here third stanza listen carefully she circled the sky in moments of grace over is a disgraceful end the killers went away and she returned to death scene so here the third stanza the feelings the expression of the male partner that is the female bird the female saras crane which is watching all this incident that uh, male bird was so dead her partner its mate killed by the hunters where that the uh, mate is going to die which was not expected by the female bird so yes she circled the sky in moments of grace here the she means here she means the females are a screen the 
partner of a, the male sort of sprint, seeing that the male bird was shot dead and with the grave as we human beings when we lost our uh, and liked persons, people, beloved ones, we feel very sorry, we feel very pity. Similarly, and the poet is uh, representing the feelings of the birds towards the death of its uh, partner as we are exhibiting, showing the feelings when we lost uh, someone who are very close to us, very much loved one. So, the female bird circled the sky in moments of grace over his disgraceful end. The female bird doesn't have the female bird, the female bird did not expect it that uh, her partner is going to kill like uh, this uh, by the hunters. So, after the death of that uh, male partner, she with grief circled on the particular place where uh, it was dead. It was uh, died in movements of grace. Here, grace means with uh, very, very mercy, pity. Over is a uh, disgraceful end. Over is a uh, disgraceful end. Here, Disgraceful means uh, disgraceful means unaccepted. Unaccepted. Unacceptable. It was a unacceptable thing happening. That uh, this type of end that uh, the male bird is going to uh, face. It was not expected. It was not uh, expected. It is unexpected. Unacceptable one also. Not acceptable and not expected only. So listen carefully. It was not expected by the female bird that the partner is going to die like this. And for this death, it was not acceptable to the female bird. Okay. So how the grief, sorrows, Pity, mercy, the what do you call the nature of a humanity in our human beings like that. Uh, the same, yeah. The poet is uh, describing in his uh, words. So next line, the killers went away and she returned to death scene. The killers went away. So, as usual, after the death, the killers take the, taken that the male bird and uh, uh, into the, the washing bag and they left away from that place. But, after the killers taken that uh, male bird and this female bird returned to the death scene where it fell down to the earth in a particular place. The female bird is circling and went to that particular place. Usually we are going to see in our surroundings when we are observing the birds in our surroundings. If uh, some birds are uh, dead, the companion, one of the companion will be dead and the other companions are uh, circling. Usually the crows and pigeons, sparrows in our surroundings uh, we are going to see. If any one sparrow, if any one crow, if any one bird is lying down as a dead, the others which are living uh, the life together, they are encircling the, tub, the dead bird. Similarly, uh, the female bird is going to encircling uh, by the movements, uh, showing the grief and sorrows uh, uh, towards the, the, uh, the death scene. See here. Uh, that the, the female bird returned to the death scene. So, the next line, next line we will uh, discuss, we will write the, the word.
So next lines. That is after this. Uh, uh, like this. After this, the death scene. With the grief. That inspired. That inspired. Its intensity. In dots and pits. In dots and pits. Let's start uh, uh, these two lines uh, and afterwards we will uh, discuss the later one. So, after this death scene, what happens with the grief? That is the female bird with the grief that inscribed its intensity. Here, yeah, inscribed means. Uh, Inscribed, wrote or cut words on something. So, the bird cannot express the sorrows as we are expressing in words. So, the bird here is not able to express by words, but it expresses, it expresses its grief by the movements, by the cry, by means of cry. Here it is referred means as a, its intensity, the feelings, the feelings of the female bird here expressed as a, in dots and pits. In dots and pits, listen carefully, children. In dots and pits means short and long cries of the female bird. I will repeat this again. Dots and pits means short and long cries of the female bird. That is uncomfortableness uncomfortable feelingness uh, will be shown by the female the female bird as a long and short uh, cries so my dear students this is the uh, explanation of these lines uh, by the poem we can understand that uh, the female bird is going to express the sorrow's grief that will be suggested by these lines. The remaining stanzas and lines we will discuss in the next period. Okay. So, make a, a note of a one question, one more question. Okay. How the male bird was treated treated by the killers by the killers ok I explain this I don't know my question how the male bird was treated by the killers ok in the next period, we will discuss the remaining lines. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.